Welcome back everybody. Today we're just kind of showing off some stuff that's new but old, if that makes sense. Video assistant today is Miss Pepper. She's doing all right. She's looking for some water like always. Huh, they just had dinner. Um, so basically what we have here behind me is a Mossberg 590A1 short barrel shotgun. It is a factory short barrel shotgun, so it doesn't need to be engraved or anything like that. I've actually had it in for a while, for probably two years now. And uh, really just kind of didn't know what to do with it. It's just been sitting around, stock as could be. You guys have probably seen pictures if you followed me here for a while. Um, so basically I kind of wanted to do the modernization, if you will, of this shotgun. So, because it's cool, it's a short barrel shotgun, it's registered to me, so obviously I'm never going to sell it, so I might as well make it useful and cool, right? So that's what we did. So I actually picked this thing up for $215 shipped. Sometimes it's one of the good things about the NFA, you can get stuff really cheap because it's hard to sell NFA items. But we added the uh, Magpul gray stock that you guys see here, the SGA 590. Uh, normally I don't use any spacers at all, but I stuck one in there because, I don't know, maybe it's just the overall short package of it, and I just it felt like I needed it when I brought it up to my shoulder. It just felt a little bit more natural in that natural place. So we added one spacer there, but of course, you can adjust the length of pull um, a good bit on those, so I have a full video on those. But anyway, added that. Next up in the equation, we added this. This is the uh, Airdis Industries um, shot shell carrier. From what I've seen, it's got a lot of promise to it. Uh, I've never actually used it. I've played with it here around the house, of course. Um, we got it loaded up with some free munitions, uh, slugs, and then in the tube right now we have free munitions, buckshot. Um, so yeah, the cool thing is exactly what you guys kind of see here. It's kind of like a quick detach system. So if I can bring that up so you can see it a little bit better. Just kind of slide it in, and it clicks right in. So you can actually buy spare carriers and kind of uh, keep them on your person. They fit in most AR mag pouches. So kind of a cool little system right there. So that is them, and again, Airtis Industries. So and then the last piece of the equation was this guy right here. It's the Surefire DSF, or Dedicated Shotgun Forend, I believe they call it. It's a 600 lumen and 200 lumen uh, dedicated shotgun forend, I guess, which makes sense, right? So it's got constant on, momentary on, and then momentary and constant in both 600 and, uh, and 200. So very ergonomic, it's definitely not definitely, I mean, it definitely is rather the um, number one choice of folks that want dedicated light type shotgun uh, grips, if you will. So it's got a kill switch on the bottom if you guys don't want to uh, have it accidentally turn on or something like that if you're traveling. But that is what we got on there. So I'm going to take it out and do some uh, shooting with it here. Hopefully tomorrow if the weather holds out. It's kind of raining today. Um, but yeah, I'm actually debating throwing a set of excess sights on there, at least a front sight. Um, it's got the little stripey thing on there now, which is good. It's better than nothing. When you bring it up, it does generally go, it tracks your eye rather, but something that would be a little bit low, more low light capable would be good. Uh, capacity on this is either 4 plus 1 or 5 plus 1. It depends on the rounds used. Um, with the Freedom stuff, which is what we have in there now. Uh, there you go. Just trying to shuck it out. It's, uh, it holds uh, 5 plus 1, so it gives you 6 rounds in the tube and then, of course, your carriers. So that is pretty much it. Wanted to show off the new new updated version of this. Once we get it out and actually prove that it's working, probably paint it or something, because again, I can't sell it. I could, it should just be a, a headache to do so. So that's pretty much it. Just wanted to show off the new toy. Here's Miss Ruby coming up here for some attention and some camera time. Huh. She's pretty much completely healed up now from her bite the other day. You can just barely see it. So she's doing good. And uh, we'll sign off there. Have a good Saturday night, guys.